Children's BBC host and on-air TV personality Julia Hardy, who now goes by Jules Hardy, called for a final purge of gamers after a boycott list was created for consultancy group Black Girl Gamers. Before we get into this, I'd like to ask you, please hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss any of our future videos here at The Trent Report. I wrote this up over at That Park Place this morning. And this is how it all started. Uh, user Becky89037405211 posted this to X, tagged in Black Girl Gamers, and said, uh, Black Girl Gamers, you wanted to defend Sweet Baby Inc. with all you could, could possible. Well, here is your page because you wanted to finish Sweet Baby Inc. when I know that you both work together on projects and Force DEI is nothing more than racism. And then shared a screenshot of uh, a Steam group called Black Girl Gamers Detected. It reads very similar to Cabrutus Rambo's Sweet Baby Inc. Detected uh, curator page and group. Interestingly, I did try and find this group and I couldn't find it. So I don't know if the person deleted it after deleting this post because they did indeed delete this post on X. Their account is still up, so they haven't deleted the entire their X account, but they did delete this post and I could not find this uh, group. So I don't know if the group is still around or I'm just incompetent, but I could not find it. So I don't know. And obviously you can see there, it only had one member at the time. So it had just been started. And uh, this person, Becky89, their X account was created in March. So unclear exactly what the motivations are aside from what they're posting here but uh, black girl gamers decided to respond to this post and they wrote we really got you pressed by just existing lol we've never worked with sweet baby inc you all saw black and consulting and decided that we all work together sounds like racism or not stopping so have fun so that's just a kind of really weird response uh it doesn't really I mean, I guess that they they think they're just being harassed because they're black, but we'll find out later that uh, they do indeed discriminate in their hiring practice, or at least it appears that they do. And the founder of the organization uh, is <laughs> does not like uh, white characters in video games, but we'll get to that. Before we get to that, uh, this is what Hardy responded to the Black Girls Gamer post. Uh, Hardy is the host of the CBC, CBBC show, which is children's BBC show Game on Grandparents, and she also is a BBC's Top Gear gaming show host as well. She hosted like Netflix's Witcher um, thing back in like 2021 when they had this like big presentation for the when they first were coming out with the show. But she reacted to their post writing this: "Can we agree that for round two of this uh, of this, it can be the final purge of these kinds of gamers? It's 2024. I've been arguing about this for decades." Can we have a last full detox of these dude so we can get back to the positive gaming community we have been created? So she wants a final purge of people like this Becky, this Becky person who's creating a boycott list on black girl gamers due to their injection of DEI and wokeness into their video games, which was abundantly clear because the black girl gamers did indeed consult on Square Enix's for spoken. It was a financial failure and was full of all kinds of woke DEI. And they have admit on their website that they were fully involved uh, with the game, like all aspects of the game they consulted on according to them. Uh, and then, but we got Hardy here was asked by Melanie Mack, YouTuber Melanie Mack, uh, who says, AKA you want to purge real gamers in favor of activists who can't hang in a multiplayer lobby without having a meltdown or who can't navigate a single player game without yellow paint, shiny ledges and the character telling them what to do. And Hardy responded, nah, I want to purge the hate and vitriol from gamers who refuse to allow gaming to evolve and adapt as we humans are doing. So if you recall, this is what Sweet Baby Inc. CEO Kim Belair has talked about. She talked about how certain gamers are standing in the way of her progress and her innovation. And her progress and innovation is literally injecting woke DEI into video games. And she specifically said it was white, straight white male gamers were the ones standing in her way. And this sounds very similar. Uh, to what Ju that sounds very similar to what Jules Hardy is now writing here on X. Refuse to allow gaming to evolve, whatever that means. 
Uh, she goes on and says, I have no problem with opposing viewpoints. Well, that's clearly not true as you're describing them as hate, violence, and aggressive behavior because the person created a boycott list over disagreeing with woke uh, DEI ideology because that's what she says here. But hate, violence, and aggressive behavior isn't okay in any realm you live within. So who even knows what she's even talking about here? I'm not sure how a boycott list is hate, violence, and aggressive behavior. In fact, the hate, appears to come from black girl gamers because they do indeed appear to discriminate in their hiring practices. They posted this just last month in February, looking for black women content creators that make Dungeons and Dragons content for some potential brand work. So it looks like they're discriminating based on race and sex because they're specifically only looking for black women content creators. They're not looking for anyone else. That does indeed appear to be discrimination to me. Uh, not only... Not only does the organization appear to discriminate in their hiring practices, but we had this from the company's uh, founder, J. Ann Lopez. She spoke with Game Rant in April last year, uh, describing how she's annoyed by white characters in video games. She was asked this, were there any video games that made you wish that their character was a woman of color or a black woman? And she said, I would flip the whole premise of a number of games, especially the ones that go into countries and get their relics. I would flip that on their head. That's always been a dream of mine in general, but to be honest, no, I'm not averse to having white characters. I'm just annoyed, annoyed at how pre prevalent they are. So she's annoyed at the white characters, number, the number of white characters that exist in the game. She would then claim she's not interested in race replacing characters, but admitted it works in some ways. So this, she likes to talk out of both sides of her mouth, right? She is a real world worm tongue uh, for the Lord of the Rings fans out there. But she said this, I wouldn't want to change an existing character that I can think of at the moment. One of my favorite games, The Witcher 3, is predominantly based on a Polish novel. I have seen no need for me to change that main character. What I want is more stories that are authentic to black, brown, and non-white people of color to be reflected in. I don't want to necessarily have to race bend an existing character for me. That's not the epitome of representation. It works in some ways. And other ways, I want some original content. But remember, she also said she wanted to uh, <laughs> turn the prop premise of, of these games on her head. And she was annoyed at how, how many uh, white characters are in games. So uh, clearly, if she's annoyed at the number of white characters on games, she wants to fundamentally change the developers who are making these those types of games with those characters because uh, she doesn't like that. And then we saw this, uh, her animus against white characters in games also surfaced while discussing Apex Legends and Overwatch. She said, I see diverse underrepresented characters in games like Apex who have kind of covered a lot of bases. There are also games like Overwatch, which I had I initially had a problem with, and they seem to be picking up their slack now, but still as a game that has a majority of white characters, I still don't understand how you can call yourself a diverse game and have a majority of white characters, but a lot of them that do it right are games where you pick from a roster. So she, clearly she has an issue with white characters. I mean, she's constantly complaining about them. She made it even more clear that she wants to get rid of white characters when she was asked this. Has there been any video games that you've seen that have gone in the right direction in terms of diversity? And she said, Apex is definitely one that's done quite well. The intention is there and the same with Overwatch. Overwatch didn't have a black female character for so long. And they had six white characters that were male, seven white characters that were female. And I was like, where's the black women? Out of the two, I would pick Apex because obviously they represent me. And that's what I'm here for, really and truly. Deathloop was also great, and Ghost of Tsushima. I'm not Japanese, so I cannot speak to the cultural accuracy, but I really enjoyed that game. Again, uh, Rajai, Rajai is another one as well. So she's all about uh, <laughs> she's all about cultural accuracy uh, for Ghost of Tsushima, but she doesn't even know what it's about. I mean, you can't really make this stuff up, right? These people are pure activists. And obviously you can see the hate isn't coming from people creating boycott lists that are trying to promote this stuff. It's coming from the people that are actively trying to promote this stuff and are indeed working with the large corporations like Square Enix on games like For Spoken. So uh, Jules Hardy, obviously, what do they do? They always lie. And then what do they do after that? They always project another example of that right here. Let me know what you guys make of what Jules Hardy had to say about her call for a final purge of video game players who oppose woke DEI ideology. Let me know in the comments below. Remember to always be charitable, but to always speak the truth.